Hey everyone, Sean here, and welcome to another episode of me detailing my car. Today uh, we're going to be taking a little bit of a special procedure. We are going into the fall, so you know, uh, summer just unofficially wrapped up. It is September, Labor Day, in fact. And basically, uh, what we're going to do is get try to get everything off of the car as um, much as possible without really going too ham on the paint anyway if that makes sense so what we're going to do today is actually going to add um, preludio which is basically their new uh, la uh from La labo cosmetica uh, their new pre-soak uh, rinseless wash system or waterless if you want to if, depending on how you want to use it and it is actually on the acidic side of things so this is going to this is supposed to be a part of a two uh, ph system of the rinseless lineup anyway which is pretty cool I picked it up. Um, it wasn't too bad on the price for the set anyway. I think it was like at most sixty bucks. So you can definitely see on the you can definitely see on the, the instructions that you can you kind of use it as like a water spot remover in a way. So that's pretty cool. I, I might actually uh, take that into consideration. But for today, we're going to use this as like a, a coating maintenance wash. So we're going to try to get as much of like any mineral accumulation off of the ceramic coating. So we're gonna go for a one to 50 ratio, which is on, which is uh, instructed anyway. So for this sprayer right here, which is an electric sprayer, I'm going to um, throw in three ounces and the rest of it water. So yeah, definitely wanna glove up for this one because it is acidic. Um, this guy does not mess around. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that with this uh, liquid right here. <laughs> Looks like Gatorade. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't sniff this because this stuff doesn't mess around. You can actually definitely see the label, the corrosive label. And uh, let me bust out my, my calculator for this one because this is 0.2 gallons or something, which that I'm not sure off the top of my head what that is. It's okay, so I actually was a little off. So we're gonna put this back into here. We didn't really do anything, so it's fine. Almost. And just a little bit more. Oh, actually. Reading it off of the wrong line. And then fill this up right here. Fill the rest up with water. Okay, we have our preludial solution right here for coating maintenance. You can kind of tell right here that um, the car is quite dirty, as you uh, will see in the uh, uh, what do you call B-roll. So let's uh, check it out. All right, let's adjust the spray a little bit. Get the roof. Oh, look at that, it's already doing work on the dirt right here.
Okay, so just this one liter bottle is definitely enough to spray the entire uh, Corolla hatchback. And looks like we're just about out. Yep, so one liter is definitely enough. So I'll give it about a, a good solid minute. Might as well just use it all up in the... All right, just about out. Okay. Give it about a solid minute. Make sure my hands are free of any acid or anything. So, yeah, definitely glove up for sure because this is acidic. Don't want to mess with it. So while that's soaking, let's pump up the detail keg sprayer. So So it didn't quite remove all the bird poo just from rinsing it off. But it did a pretty good job with everything else. Like just the stubborn bird poo that remained. Um, and this is just like the coating maintenance um, dilution so we could have gotten definitely like more heavy duty ish but but I believe for the most part does not call for for today so I think it did pretty uh, did a good job of making sure the um, the coating is on top of it because the beading is all uh, still quite tight and everything Straight round beads, there's no, there wasn't any dead spots I noticed. So let's just go ahead and now um, get this thing going then. All right, and then here's my favorite um, configuration for the spray. For right now, the detail, the detail keg spray, which is this uh, garden hose spray nozzle, like a regular one, you can buy them cheap. And then attached to it is um, Quick Connects and from essential washer and then this is the key this is the the misting nozzle spray that you can get uh, off of amazon i'll try to leave everything in the description of the video along with uh, of course the quick connects and everything for the quarter inch uh, hose and stuff like that so you can kind of see hopefully 
or what that looks like. You can kind of get an idea of what the build looks like. Like, look at that. Nice, misty spray. Puts out tons of mist. All right, maybe you can, what that looks like here. Oh yeah. Yeah, very misty. Amortization is great. Try to lay the hose carefully. <sighs> Try to get everything covered with the DIY detail rinseless V2 and everything. Very good product. Very good. And then this this detail K combination is very good. So we got uh, that taken care of. And it feels like we didn't use too much of the product either in the tank. So that checks off all those boxes, right? When you miss something, it definitely does not eat up the product as fast as you would with like more of a non-misting spray. And then speaking of DO, DIY detail, we're gonna use also DIY detail, rinseless V2 in the bucket. Right there. So I say overall, like it's really neat to have a two pH system for um, uh, rinseless now. So it's less messy in the sense. Here's the other uh, part of the system here. So I have the alkaline version uh, as a part of the two pH system, right? You have the acidic and you have the alkaline. I would say alkaline is you're gonna use more and then acidic is like when you really notice your uh, coating like clogging up and stuff like when it's starting to uh, gather more water or hold more water on the paint then you can bust out this at a little more of a heavier ratio so pretty neat stuff okay with all that do with all that said let's go ahead Ooh. All that said, let's, let's get washing, let's get contact, right? Oh yeah, the bird poo at this point definitely came off really easy. And 
look at that, it's like, you can kind of see the, hopefully the bird poo right there. It's like getting encapsulated by the rinseless. Yep. Yeah, it's coming off real easy with the sponge. Yep. You can definitely tell, like, yeah, like the sponge is clean. So that also says it does have some extra cleaning power. You could also use it for your wheels too, because uh, I remember like the popular wheel cleaner is like, you know, the acid-based ones. And so in a sense, the rinseless, uh, rinse, the acidic rinseless wash could be used for like those things too, which is really neat. So there is versatility, I feel, with um, Preludio, which is really cool. That is uh, actually really cool in a sense. If the hose didn't get it off with the burp poo, the sponge got it off real easy, yeah. Oh yeah. Like I don't, I don't even have to like nudge it as much. For the quote unquote more uh, stubborn ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It just softened it up real good actually. Uh, yeah, the car was extra dirty this time because the places, the the parts of the road I took for, I usually take for work, that was under the construction. So all that nice dust and oil and tar, whatever asphalt stuff, definitely did a number on the paint a little bit. So I, I yeah, in a sense, using the acidic wash, it was a kind of a right call. Could I have used the alkaline side, uh, the alkaline version? Yeah, sure. But you know, we're going into a fall, so uh, we're gonna lose more sunlight fast, right? With this winter solstice um, sooner or later. So I plan to just like really be minimal about it when it comes to winter. And uh, winter will be like my quickest washes just because we lose a lot of like light real fast. So I plan to try to be like um, quick about it. Probably gonna do a decon wash. Uh, in fact, oh yeah, I may have noticed also. My car is in the middle. My sister's car is like over there on the street. 
thought I, you know, do that from now on to be a little easier on the editing because, yeah, extra sensor bar potentially or um, having to put a bucket right there so I lose a bucket for the sake of covering up this license plate. But it's out of the way, so all the other bird poo that stayed definitely wiped off real easy. With the sponge and everything. Very nice. So it's a good thing to use for once in a while. You, know, you, you definitely don't use it for every wash, right? Unless like, <laughs> I don't know, your environment is that dirty, but then yeah, your car is gonna get thrashed up. You're gonna need a lot more protection real quick too if that really is the case, but I think that's a rare occasion, luckily, for a handf at least a good number of people anyway. I would say a handful of people may have to face that sort of challenge, but. But maybe that challenge is from, from people, but I could be wrong. Yeah, basically, I'd say Preludio, the general uh, two, two, uh, two pH system for rinses wash from Labo Cosmetica works. You know, I, I, I can only assume that the alkaline wash works too, but the acidic one definitely felt like it definitely, it helped making sure our um, coating is tip top shape. All right, so you, this is, the car is still wet, but you can definitely see the notable difference, right? Yeah, we got some polymer spots right there. Well, that's fine. Yeah, and then the dirtiest part over there in the back. So. Definitely a lot cleaner than before, right? So in first impressions for Preludio, uh, two pH um, rinse and wash system, pretty cool, right? You have that in your arsenal. Or, uh, I have it in the arsenal now, and uh, you know I can I can definitely use these products more ways than one. Like I can definitely use this for the acidic wheel wash and stuff like that. This too for the alkaline applications, you name it. I can try to use this as a water spot remover, that sort of stuff. Um, so pretty neat, really, really, really neat. So um, that's really all I gotta say. Pretty good stuff. And the spray right here definitely helped as well. So I'll definitely uh, keep in mind my little collection and uh, bust it out when, when the situation calls for it. So what do you, what do you guys think of uh, Lost, uh, Lost Bowl Cosmetica's um, rinses wash system? Uh, what are you guys' experiences? Uh, good, bad, anything like that in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I uh, really do appreciate it, it helps out. So this is my experience with at least the acidic side of the this wash system. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you all in next video. Sean out.